Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's unboxing and quick review will be about the 172 scale Sukhoi SU22M4 from Kozaori Prostio. This model takes me back to my childhood because I already built an SU22 when I was like 12 years old. So it's a very special moment for me. Let me show you what's inside the box. The box includes an instruction manual, three frames of a grey harder plastic, one frame from a clear plastic, and water slide decals. This kit is a 2020 rebox of the Italeri and Bileg models from the 1990s. At the time, it was very difficult to find a good looking SU22. Another company like Pantera produced the SU22, but it was not available in my country. At the beginning of 2005, it was reboxed by Smir. But that's another story. Let's talk about the moldings. The plastic is very hard and robust. It will be very hard to cut it and create some extra internal or external details. The pen line details could be better, but it's an old mold, so I take it as an excuse. The best solution is to engrave the pen lines a little more. Details of the cockpit are poor, so I will definitely upgrade them. The second plastic frame includes parts of the swept wings, horizontal stabilizers and landing gear covers. During the assembly of these parts, large cats will show up on the lower parts of the wings. Lots of putty will be needed. Other parts like the landing gear and weapons are also simplified, so better is to upgrade it with some scratch build or entirely replace it with resin parts. For example, the pita tubes, fuel tanks and the R60M missiles are too thick. For a better look, they must be replaced. The clear parts also look too thick. There are visible scratches. The plastic isn't the best quality, so the best solution is to sand it with a 1500 cold grain sandpaper and polish it with polishing paste. I assure you, it will look better. The water slide decals look quite good. They contain only insignias and identification numbers. They also include seat belts and some technical stencils. But other stencils are missing, so buy some extra decals. The instruction manual is a little bit small, but after some studying, it is readable. Unfortunately, no colors are shown anywhere on the interior or other surfaces. Everything must be studied from other sources. Luckily, we have internet. Camouflages and markings are illustrated in color on the back side of the box. There are options to paint the model in a Polish, Angolian, Iranian or Syrian camouflage. In the middle of the box is a simple color converter for Humbro and Agama paints. Ok, that's enough for this quick review. Overall, this old kit has its imperfections. But with a lot of work and effort, it can be a very good looking model of the fitter. Thank you for watching guys and see you next time. Bye!